On a springtime walk, have you ever noticed the white foamy bubbles forming on plants? Well, this is called cuckoo spit. However, it really has nothing to do with cuckoos at all. It is actually caused by tiny insect larvae called spittle bugs. When the larvae hatch inside the stem of a plant, they feed on the sap flowing through its water vessels. So to protect itself, the plant forms cuckoo spit on its stem as a sort of defensive bubble bath against predators. However, these tiny creatures are unwittingly causing Europe's number one plant health problem. Spittle bugs and their adult counterparts known as frog hoppers can sometimes carry a bacterium known as Xylella fastidiosa. So when the insects feed on the stem of a plant, they can transfer the bacteria into the plant's water vessels. So when the bacteria grow and multiply, they block the plant's water vessels so it cannot transport water to its leaves. Now this deadly disease is uncurable. We have no way to stop it. And now it's threatening to devastate Europe's most beloved plant, the olive tree. Since Xylella was discovered just nine years ago in Italy, it has caused Europe's olive crop yields to go down by over 65%. If this deadly disease is allowed to continue to ravish the beautiful European countryside, we may not only lose our home comforts like olives and their delicious oil, but we will also lose 3,000 year old trees that were witnesses to Europe's ancient history. However, there is hope. Scientists have been using computer modelling on STFC's Jasmine supercomputer to track, but crucially, to predict where the disease will spread next and how it will spread. They have found that the insects sometimes travel on the wind or hitch a ride on a vehicle. So this can help us identify infected trees and isolate them to stop xylella from spreading and ruining our olive groves. So, Next time you're having a walk through the countryside and notice some cuckoo spit on a plant, think of the olive trees. And next time you think of cracking open some kalamatas or adding a glug of olive oil to your dinner, then maybe think to yourself, thank goodness for computers. <laughs>